Hello, and welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher, and this is The Stitchery. We are going to be starting a fun little mini-series that I thought of, and it's for, is this hook good for Spoonies? I will be rating it on one to five zebras, <laughs> because a zebra is the symbol for the rare diseases and rare illnesses out there. Today we're going to discuss the new We Crochet crochet hooks. They're called dots. First of all, I love the packaging. How cute is that, right? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Packaging is always a plus. <laughs> they sold out, the first time they came out, they sold out within, I think the number was four hours. <sighs> so I did not get my hands on them until recently, but here they are. Kind of fan them out so you can see all the colors of the rainbow. And of course, there's turquoise, my favorite. <laughs> I got mine during their big sale. I believe the original price is, I will put it up on screen. There are nine hooks in total. We have a two millimeter for our Amigurumi artists. We have a 2.5. There is also a three. in a lovely orange color. There's also a 3.5 in a fun green color. Ooh, look at that, that really looks neon on this camera. That's pretty cool. There's also a four millimeter, my personal favorite, and it's in my favorite color. How wonderful is that? So you can see it's chipped there, but they're replacing it, no questions. So, thank you. <laughs> There is a 4.5, the five that I showed you, 5.5, and a six in a fun hot pink color. The dots have a fun little design on each one little polka dots and they're pink. In the picture, I really thought they were white, but they're actually pink. Here, I'll show you. See, they're all pink. They are pink, which if you didn't know, my second favorite color is pink. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. These hooks are a decent size long. The handle is very nice. So you can see a little bit sticks out, but not too much. And your thumb, if you're a knife gripper, this is great because there's a spot for your thumb right there. If you're a pencil gripper, that also works because the thumb is in the same spot. Now for people who struggle with say the bump that's on the top, this is really, really soft. And if you needed to, you could totally file this off with a little Dremel easily, but it's really soft and I don't think it would bother you. Plus, the thumb area is very large, so if you wanted to move your thumb down just a bit, it's not in your way. And if you're a pencil gripper, also not a problem. See, you still have a lot of space between you and that bump, the shaft. First of all, that's a decent sized shaft. I mean, it's a little short, but it's not too bad. And, um, I think you could still do a treble crochet, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna test it for you. Um, that's what I'm always worried about is trebles and um, bobbles, cluster stitches, things like that. Things where I have to have a lot of loops on my hook. So I look for the longer shafts. If you're a short shaft person, I'm sure this is still good for you. It's very smooth. It feels a lot like the metal that a certain other brand that looks like this uses. And um, I'll just show you a comparison because of course I own them. <laughs> but 
the metal looks awfully similar. The heads are very similar. They are also a hybrid head, so they are a mix between tapered and inline, which I prefer, honestly. But they're very, very similar. This is a little bit wider. It has a very interesting back. It's almost a square, if you can see that. It's almost a square. Whereas this one is definitely more triangular. But we will put this one away. You know what this is. There's plenty of space for it not to bump into your hand constantly. That's what I'm not the fan of with the shorter handles is because it hits my hand constantly. Every time I move, move it, it bumps my palm, which is slightly annoying. I'm a knife gripper, so that's how I hold my hook. And there's plenty of room on the end. Also, it comes with this fun little feature where it has a hole for your stitch marker. That's a clever idea, so you always have one. It also has the engraved size, which I love. And I love that they did the number because letters can change, I've noticed. It can vary between the sizes, but the numbers are pretty much consistent for UK or other countries, their sizing. But this one just has the number, so this is a So what makes a good hook? Now, leave me in the comments what you think a good hook should be. I think a good hook should be comfortable, number one. I think it should have a nice, smooth glide for the yarn, nothing for it to catch on, nothing for it to rub against, nothing for the yarn to get stuck to. I think it should have a decent sized shaft because you need to be able to make those big stitches where you have a lot of loops on your hook. I think it should have a decent thickness so that your hand does not cramp as badly. And this is fairly thick. I'm, I'm impressed. So compared to the, let's see, let's get the same size. Okay. Compared to another kind, you can see the difference in thickness. If I hold them, how can I hold them? Oh, I know this way. So this is just a tad thicker. However, when you get down here, they're about the same, but I would say this one is just like a millimeter or two thicker. This part is hard. It is, it's not going anywhere. And so you don't have to worry about the rubber or anything for where the sizing is, losing what, what size hook you have because this is engraved in the plastic. This is not rubber. So it's, it's not going anywhere, which is really nice. They also sealed up the top so that your hook will not slide around and all the way, oh, by the way, the hook does go all the way through, but it will not slide around. And so you don't have to worry about that little, I don't know if you ever got a hook where you had to kind of pull it out again because it would move just enough. This does not have that issue. So now. The other thing that makes a terrible hook is awkwardness when you hold it. Like you don't know how to hold it. They make it very obvious. There's your thumb rest. And if you choke up on your hook, like if you, if you hold it higher up, honestly, this is pretty comfortable. This little rubber piece, it's, it's kind of squishy. It's much softer. So you can put your thumb right there. So how does it crochet? You want to know that. I'll be right back. I've been crocheting for a bit and I can do a bobble or a cluster stitch. The treble crochets went fine. I'll show you. One, two, three. There we go. And slip stitching is no problem. Ta -da! It's got a nice head so it can fit right in those stitches. Look at that. Nice, easy glide. My hands are not getting tired. They are crocheting real easily and smoothly. That's a big issue for me is if my hands get tired because I have serious wrist issues. And so 
A good hook handle and comfortable grip are very important to me and most spoonies. So, two, three. And this is obviously a mess. I'm just testing out different stitches here. Not making anything. So yeah, I'd say that's a win. And uh, because I didn't film it properly, if you want to see me make a cluster stitch, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, still plenty of room, and six. Here we go, all through, chain one, ta-da! Perfect. Okay, so, are these hooks good for a spoonie? I would say yes. It's got a comfortable grip, it's got a smooth glide, it's got a uh, engraved number, so you know exactly what hook it's gonna be, it's not gonna come off. And they're decently long, so they don't bump into your hand. I would say yes. I would say this is Spoonie approved. I would give it five zebras. This is Spoonie approved. Wheat Crochet is a great company. Great company. Highly recommend them. I love their company. Their customer service is wonderful. Their website is so easy to navigate. And I like these hooks a lot. So to recap, these are great hooks. I recommend them for a Spoonie. They are wonderful. Spoonie approved. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join my little zebra family. Bye.